For those that have trouble losing weight, it isn't uncommon to suspect a possible condition of hypothyroidism. There are many people that do, in fact, suffer from hypothyroidism only to be told that their test results do not reflect a problem. In fact, it's estimated that nearly 50% of these tests do not detect an existing hypothyroid condition. In the meantime, they continue to suffer from hypothyroid conditions like depression, insomnia, digestive problems, difficulty losing weight, etc., and may even be told they are imagining these symptoms. What some may not know is that the thyroid gland also controls the temperature of the body. In other words, if the thyroid isn't working up to par, the temperature of the body will be colder than it should be. As you may already know, the human body should be at 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. Any temperature that is below 97.8 Fahrenheit or 36.5 Celsius reflects a problem with the thyroid. Furthermore, the body's tolerance for temperature variations is relatively low as some of the body's functions require a certain temperature within the body to work properly. For example, there are over 500 different enzymes with specific functions inside the body. Enzymes are proteins that are very sensitive to temperature and will not function properly if the body's temperature is off by too much. So if you suspect that there might be a problem with your thyroid, here is an effective and simple way of determining whether or not it is functioning as it should be. Take your body temperature three times throughout the day at least one hour after eating. Ideally, you should use a glass thermometer for this as it will provide a more accurate reading. Repeat this for three days, gathering a total of nine measurements. Then, add up all nine measurements and divide by nine to get an average. If your average temperature is equal to or less than 97.8 degrees Fahrenheit or 36.5 Celsius, there are likely problems with your thyroid. To learn more about this topic, read the book The Power of Your Metabolism by Frank Suarez, available at www.thepowerofyourmetabolism.com.